A very good day everybody. Today we are going to explore a human intestinal disease called isosporiasis caused by a coccidian parasite known as isospora belly. So before we move on, please note that isosporiasis and cystoisosporiasis are terms that are used interchangeably whereby they are representing the same disease. Isosporiasis, uh, like I said, is an intestinal disease caused by a coccidian parasite called Isospora belly. Coccidias are a subclass of microscopic spore-forming single-cell intracellular obligate parasites that belong to the AP complex class Conoidacida. Obligate actually comes from the root word uh, oblige, means to, which means to follow. Hence, as obligate intracellular parasites, they must live and reproduce within an animal cell. Isosporiasis technically occurs worldwide, but it is most common in the tropical and subtropical areas of the world. Isosporiasis is spread when one consumes or ingests food or water that is contaminated with a mature oocyst that is fully sporulated. It is commonly observed in immunodepressed or immunocompromised individuals, which uh, is technically defined as those with an impaired immune system, for example a patient with AIDS. Morphology. So the following three images uh, represents Isospora oocysts at different stages of uh, maturation. So uh, we'll start with figure C. So in figure C we can actually uh, observe a mature oocyst uh, and you can find the, you can observe the two sporoblasts that is present within uh, the oocyst. Figure B, on the other hand, represents an immature oocyst, and this one only has uh, one sporoblast. So this is the stage that it would be uh, when it is found in, in the feces. Figure A, like uh, figure B, represents an immature oocyst, and this stage is also found in the feces. So morphologically, uh, immature oocysts are ellipsoidal or spindle-shaped with tapered ends and an undivided mass of protoplasm actually exists uh, inside the immature oocysts. So that protoplasm then divides uh, to form two sporoblasts as uh, seen in figure C. Uh, let's look at the life cycle of uh, isospora uh, belly. So at the time of excretion, the immature oocyst contains only one sporoblast, uh, rarely two. And in further maturation following excretion, the sporoblast divides uh, in two. And now the oocyst contains two sporoblasts. The sporoblasts uh, then secrete a cyst wall, uh, thus, become a sp thus becoming a sporocyst and the sporocyst divides uh, twice to produce four sporozoids each. So it, infection usually occurs by ingestion of uh, sporocysts uh, containing oocysts. So th and the sporocytes then exist uh, in the small intestines and release their sporozoids which then invade the epithelial cells and initiate schizogony. Upon rupture of the schizons, the merozoids are then released, which invade new epithelial cells and continue the cycle of asexual multiplication. Trophozoids are developed into schizons, which contain multiple merozoids, and after a minimum of one week, the sexual stage begins with the development of male and female gametocytes. Fertilization then results in the development of oocysts that are excreted in the stool and the, and the uh, cycle then continues. Cystospora or isospora infections usually uh, results in acute non-bloody diarrhea with crampy abdominal pain which can last for weeks and results in malabsorption and weight loss. 
in immunodepressed patients such as those that are suffering from AIDS or undergoing chemotherapy and in infants and uh, younger children the diarrhea can be severe eosinophilia may also be present but it is slightly different uh, from other protozoic uh, protozoan infections eosinophilia is defined as an increase in peripheral blood uh, eosinophilic leukocytes to more than 600 cells per microliter of blood so uh, treatment uh, involves uh, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, uh, abbreviated as TMP-SMX, sold under the trade names Bactrim, Septra and Cotrim. is actually the treatment or uh, medication of choice for cystoisospora infections. The typical treatment regimen for adults is trimethoprim 160 milligrams uh, plus sulfamethoxazole 800 milligrams uh, given taken orally twice a day for 7 to 10 days ciprofloxacin or uh, short uh, or in short cipro is a second line alternative it is actually less effective than trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole but might have some activity against cystoisospora so for adults the treatment regimen uh, is uh, cipro 500 milligrams uh, orally uh, twice a day for seven days with that i thank you